O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. For me the measuring lines have fallen on pleasant sights. Fair to me indeed is my inheritance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who called the Bishop St. John Newman, renowned for his charity and pastoral service, to shepherd your people in America, grant by his intercession that as we foster the Christian education of youth and are strengthened by the witness of brotherly love, we may constantly increase the family of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the King, and with your justice the King's Son, he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. By now it was already late, and the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already very late. Dismiss them, so that they can go to the surrounding farms and villages and buy themselves something to eat. He said to them in reply, Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Are we to buy two hundred days' wages worth of food and give it to them to eat? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five loaves and two fish. So he gave orders to have them sit down in groups on the green grass. 
The people took their places in rows by hundreds and by fifties. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up 12 wicker baskets full of fragments and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were 5,000 men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus' miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and the fishes is um, certainly an important part of the story of Jesus. Feeding people was an important part of the lives of the people who were there. On the average, people who lived in Jesus' time ate only once a day, and most of it was fish and barley loaves, which is probably what Jesus had at his disposal on that day. But he took those things and he said, gave thanks to God for them and broke them so that they could be shared. And in the sharing, they became more than what they had started with. As often is the case, when we share, what we share becomes more than what we have given. And because of this miracle, we are reminded of the fruitfulness of God in the world, of his bounty and of his care for his people. When we gather here today, we recognize that what we share today becomes more bountiful and more abundant because we have given it to God first and God returns um, our gifts to us um, as the body and blood of Christ and continues to give us that which we need to share even more. We recognize the love of God today in this place. We recognize the love that we are called to share. We recognize that our care for one another provides an abundance for us, where all people are fed, where all people are given what they need, where their human dignity is respected and cared for. I hold in my prayers today, Reverend Joseph Lavoie, in thanksgiving to Our Lady of Guadalupe, Father Dennis Fountain, Ray Pena. Together we bring before our Heavenly Father our needs and concerns. For Pope Francis, as he continues to lead Christ's Church with the message of God's love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For first responders and healthcare workers, may the Lord protect them and bless them in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are struggling to find employment, may God's love bring them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may God's spirit bind us more closely to each other and bring relief to those suffering in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, May our compassionate God soon welcome them into eternal happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a quick end to this pandemic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we love you and thank you for your compassion toward us. Hear and answer our prayers we bring before you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ your Son, just as you granted to St. John Newman to imitate what he celebrated through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ your Son. God, friend of the lowly, refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, we ask, O Lord, that by the example of St. John Newman, we may experience the power of this sacrament and may remain constantly in the Church by the bond of unity and truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.